Oh, I'm just so itching to use these. Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. Yeah, I'm joined by Brian Hines, senior designer of The Outer Worlds, and Matt Singh, producer of The Outer Worlds from Obsidian here, and we're going to be checking out a new mission in the game. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. This is a beautiful view to walk yes. into. Edgewater. Under the beautiful the beautiful stars in the night <laughs> sky. So we're about... We're still in the first hour of the game. Can you guys give us a little bit of insight into, you know, what Edgewater is all about and where we are at in the game? Yeah, definitely. So Edgewater is one of the, it's the first town you come to in the game. It's in an area of the main planet in the Halcyon Colony, which is the where this game is set. Um, it's a region called Emerald Vale. And Edgewater is like a corporate town run by the Spacer's Choice Company, which as you're walking around, you're seeing a ton of the Spacer's Choice branding. Yeah. And yeah. people you're going to talk to are going to mention Spacer's Choice Part and of the corporate Spacer's logos. Spacer's Choice family, of course. It's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, this is a town that's kind of fallen a bit of hard times. And uh, you're here. Basically, when you reach this point, you were recently brought out of hibernation by a, a, a rogue scientist, someone who's wanted by the, the corporate board which mm -hmm. runs the colony. And he's asking you for help to uh, like revive your fellow colonists who are like on the, the, the Hope colony ship. And he basically sent you to meet a smuggler mm -hmm. uh, who you landed on top of rather Whoops. than uh, helping out. Yeah, squash. Mistakes were made. That's yes, right. Yeah. And, and now we're after a, a power regulator specifically yes. trying to, to bring a, a ship back online. Right. Um, which is exciting. And then for some insight into, I got a chance to, to build uh, my, my character here, Mina. Uh, she is sort of a, a charming idiot <laughs> who is very good at stealth and uh, yeah, went heavy in the sort of charisma so that we can um, get some, I love having different dialogue options available. So. Yes. Mr. Thompson, sir, you asked why it's taking so long to fix the... Seems we've got a guest. Hello. Uh -huh. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm sorry. Oh, so polite. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, like, one huge thing about um, the Outer Worlds that I'm excited about is just the branching dialogue and all yes. the different options here. And yeah. so I've been playing it pretty... When I have dumb options, I usually go for it. But um, <laughs> first of all, I'll find out uh, what Reed's all about here. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, man. What do you mean? Shirt, pants, work boots. Company approved colors. The, uh... Company approved oh, colors. Exactly. Wow. Oh, my goodness. We got branding to worry about. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want the power regulator, bud. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. <gasps> Mr. Tobbs and Hope you don't mind if I take that. <laughs> yeah. I, I like beg your look. pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one, <laughs> and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without. He seems so trustworthy. In I'm into it. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, the suit really screams. What a trust man me. in a bowler hat lie to you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad experience with that. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all <laughs> that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Mm. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator. I had a feeling this would benefit him no in some way. What? <laughs> when you say yeah. mostly abandoned. <laughs> I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited. Ah, here it but is. <laughs> there are people who live there. All right. <laughs> what uh, a surprise. Yeah. We saw that coming. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, wait. Are they marauders? Um, I'm gonna, yeah. I don't think people are gonna like that. Let's see what he says. No, to say about I that. I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. Oh, okay. Mm. The people living. Feel good about yourself. Yeah, I will. They're deserters. I love when the dialogue Former options workers, though really allow you to lean into posts. a different character. Like, do I, I do I care about these people? Home. Am I gonna advocate for them, or I'm just like, well, let me take their power. I don't care. Yep. All I can right. Be the villain if I want to be. Tell me what I, I need to do, Reed. That by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back uh, to town. Okay. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. 
speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the, the power's about to go. Pavardi this and time Reed her band Adelaide. of deserters came back to town. All right. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Ooh, help. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. Trying to really oh, appraise man. this dynamic Maybe here. <laughs> I was going to say, is this a companion option? You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, let's do it. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and <laughs> hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. What more do you need? Well, I am glad to hear. Yeah, that's it. Hairpins Best are essential to this operation. <laughs> your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay. So yeah, you got a new companion. Yay. Excellent. Ah, the more the merrier here. So, um, okay, so we're looking at like. Yeah, one of the things Combat you'll notice support. is that okay. they'll even like help you out in conversations mm -hmm. as well. So like they'll actually add to your scores. Add a little bit of insight. Yeah, Ooh, carrying capacity, they can carry all my my goodies for me. <laughs> That's great. All right, Pavardi, here we go. Yes, we don't have pack mules, but we do have companions. Yes. <laughs> Good job making friends, Tim. Thank you. All right, so we're heading out of town. Yeah, the Emerald Vale region. Okay. So this is a different uh, a different route from where we entered the right. uh, Edgewater. So yeah, this is the other side of town. Yeah, just a casual volcano on the side over yeah, there. Yes, check it out. <laughs> just chilling in the distance. I love it. What went into some of the design for for these environments? Like, did you guys draw inspiration from stuff? Was it just like coming out of your head of like, and I want a volcano in the back? <laughs> well, the, the volcano volcano came from like one of the aspects of this quest is. Um, we're being asked to go to the geothermal plant, so mm -hmm. we're looking for like a good visual indicator of geothermal power. And I mean, who doesn't love a volcano? <laughs> it's like a great visual draw. Um, yeah, out our uh, combat here. Yeah, these are the marauders who are. You learn a bit more as you go through the quest in Emerald about who the marauders are, but the most important thing to know about them is that they're unemployed, which is <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got it. The worst thing you could be. Exactly. <laughs> What that prompt was just showing you is because you actually have uh, put some points into your leadership abilities, um, you can now actually have special abilities for your companions as well. Okay. And so you can use those in combat. Um, once we get into some other ones, you might be able to see what Parvati can do for you. Yeah, it's like it's on the left and, and uh, right buttons on the directional pad. Yeah, so the those are the abilities. Right now you've got one on the left. You're being oh, spotted oh, there. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, we got company. Okay, I'll try... Okay, I'm gonna get some better cover. And that was our medical inhaler you just used. <laughs> yeah, I love the animation goon. there. Okay, so that's a that's a heavy there. Um, let me see what we can do here about this. I got a little bit more. Yeah, you might want to use that. So what is this mechanic dilation. that Tim is using that sort of stops time or slows it down briefly? So that's what we call our tactical time dilation system. Basically, oh, because shoot. you were in basically hibernation for 70 years, mm -hmm. you've got a little bit of brain damage. Oh, um, just a casual. Just, just tiny, <laughs> tiny amount. The, uh, the benefit, though, is you basically can slow down your perception of time, hmm. which in combat allows you to like aim, focus in. really focus in on the... Uh, on enemies, like learn their strengths and weaknesses, and nice. give, you, give you some benefits. So, it's the uh, oh, and I see it drains that purple meter up yes. in the top left. Yeah, it's like when you're just standing still, it drains fairly slowly, but as you're moving and attacking, it drains quickly. So. Nice. And based on how you customize your character by putting points into the right skills, purchasing the right perks, you can actually increase how long that meter lasts in combat. Nice. There we so go. Like something you could really lean into if you yes. want. Yeah, and I think just lean into that brain damage. I absolutely need to. Uh, well, I mean, maybe not in real life, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but the um, yeah, I absolutely love being able to slow time there and target like that. Like I will go all in on that. So you notice uh, Parvati is actually low health, so you can. But when you heal, it heals her as well. Oh, okay, we share that. That's yes. great. So her, she has a ability on the left d-pad it looks like so if i target whoa there we go yeah get it girl wow Should all right get in there. Oh. <laughs> you stay away from her 
Oh, she go down? Yeah. yeah. No. She was still at no health when you sent her in. Oh, shoot. Can I revive her? We'll find out. What? She, will, uh, she will revive at the end of combat. Oh, of combat? Okay, gotcha. Unless you're playing on our highest difficulty mode, at that point she'd be gone That's forever. That's just it. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Those are some stakes. Do you guys have a fun name for your hard mode? Uh, Supernova. Nice. That's a great I name. I always love hearing <laughs> the different names for them. Yes. Oh, you're doing good, Tim. Thank you, you thank you. This. I need all the, imp the positive encouragement. <laughs> I believe in you. Thank you. Take out that hooligan. All the goons and hooligans gotta go. All right. Get there we go. Here. All right. Is she back? Is she oh with God, me? I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I, I'm sorry. Let's let's heal. <laughs> She's like, it's all good. <laughs> so, so she got a little bit from that. Yes. Okay. okay. And again, based on how you put points into various skills, she'll get more. more. Okay. Great. Are uh, you able to like pass something on to her so that she could heal herself, or? Uh, she will heal naturally outside of combat. It just takes a little bit longer. Got it. Um. But again, as you like, one of the leader, one of the archetypes for the game is like the leadership route, mm -hmm. which is where you're putting points more into improving your companions rather than to yourself. Um, as you do that, it will improve how much uh, health they get back as you heal. Nice. Let's see what Adelaide has to say. Hello. This is pretty. Wow. Mm. Tim, great job on uh, focusing on the main main Thank course you. here. Because <laughs> I, I very much would have been like, right away, let me go check it, her. Room. It is taking every everything in me uh, to not just like just oh, what's yeah, this over I here? Am, oh, I am the worst when it comes to RPGs. Of like, I'll try so hard to stay to the main course, yeah. and I'm like, ooh, shiny thing, ooh, new conversation. Well, our entire job is designing those shiny things. Mm. <laughs> That's find all a place worth to lay your head down yes. and I'll fetch you a poultice. Oh, she's so Whatever friendly. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Oh. Any questions, oh, shoot. dear? I can't just take their power. <laughs> I've, now I like them more. Ruh row, there's a dumb option. <laughs> oh, oh well. What's that smell? Um, uh, yeah. That'd be the garden, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose he might not be used to it. Also fertilizer, so mind your boots. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just. You got such pretty trees in here. Aww. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Aww. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. Tobacco corn? I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed by the pivot between like the goofiness back to like having something pretty heartfelt. Is yeah. like it's amazing. It's not a, more jarring. You'd think it would yeah. be jarring, but it just works it's so seamless. well. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna drop the Reed's name here and see what she says. Reed Thompson. Ruh -ruh. You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? She doesn't like me as much Let's now. Hear it. <laughs> What's Reed's idea of peace then? Um. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> to the point. Um, but I could try to massage <laughs> this. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't I wasn't know. really listening. <laughs> Man, it's like I would never make this choice in my main playthrough probably, so I'm just going to go for it. Absolutely. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Oh, okay, that's not brand for him. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is can. Oh. <laughs> She's been working on that one for a while. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna tell her the whole story. You would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? I hadn't met you in. I have needs, Adelaide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just need a power regulator. That's basically it. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts? You ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Okay, I'm feeling convinced. <laughs> if you're going down to the plant. You should divert power away from Edgewater oh, and toward our end of the grid. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing that you would do. Uh, so I don't have to actually make the decision decision here. It's just no. sort of like... Um, Letting you start to see the feelers yeah. of what, what you could be choosing soon. Yes. I mean... Yeah, what is her history? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, 
Living off whatever scrap Spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. Aww. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to I love if child. I hadn't brought her along, I wouldn't Lost be her seeing exactly that. Yeah. And still she defends them. Yeah, definitely based on the companions you bring with you. In addition to like helping with the skills you might have options for in conversations, they'll interject their own like opinions into the mm -hmm. conversation, yeah. and occasionally that will unlock different options on okay. quests for you. Love it. That's great. Uh, we'll, yeah, what will happen at Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp All grows right. and thrives. Interesting. So, um. Yeah, I will consider this. I trust you will listen to your conscience. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know what to expect from coming here, but I didn't expect that, so. Ooh, oh. another. Oh, but you'd have to steal it. Oh, I did steal it. And you it. just did it. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh God. Care in the world. Don't tell anybody, Pavardi. <laughs> Pavardi's like looking back and forth <laughs> like, oh. She's like, uh, okay. All right, so. Sounds like we got to head to the plant and just do the thing. Yeah. All right, so head back out. All right, so we're back. Uh, we did spend some skill points and get some perks for uh, Mina, the character we were playing. But, um, you know, we actually decided to load up a different character to since we're about to go into some heavy combat and check out some different weapons, um, which this is uh, there's a really good variety here. Yeah. So we got this bad boy here, which is Ooh. sort of an electric... Um, which, would you say this weapon was called? Yeah, so this is an assault rifle that's been modded out so it can actually do oh, uh, shock damage, which is pretty good against different robots. Okay, perfect. And I love just the design and like the uh, like the intricate detail on it. Yeah, uh, this is actually, a, that's a TNL assault rifle, which is a different brand oh, in the game. That's awesome. <laughs> and this is a, we got a ranged weapon here and can charge up, which I love that animation and sound effect. Nice. So we're going to have some options here and finally something a little bit more corrosive oh. here oh Jeez. man i'm keeping this one out this is totally <laughs> my style and these are all things that if me, we had maybe taken the time to explore a little bit more we might have yes. stumbled upon uh but we're sort of mainlining it well we yeah. would have found the weapons um for this say we actually we have a uh, weapon modding mm -hmm. in the game oh, nice. so you can find mods you can then apply to weapons and armor so the uh the assault rifle that's doing shock damage is actually one that we modified to be able to do that different damage type okay got it I love, I mean, I'm just impressed by how much personality the, the weapons have just immediately, not just from like the design, but just, you know, also the way that they fire. Um, it just really feels like a corrosive, you know, <laughs> light machine gun. Does this, does this mascot for Edgewater have a name? <laughs> Is he just... We, I mean, basically he's the Spacer's Choice Spacer's mascot. Choice, gotcha. The control room should be we call him the, moon, the moon man, right? Moon man, man? all right, <laughs> yeah. if that works. Okay. If I needed some gear. Oh, I'm just so itching to use these. Uh, hello! <laughs> We're doing just fine, Purple. Yeah, I want to actually try the... Uh, yeah, definitely if you switch here. to the uh, the shock assault r rifle, you'll be able to see the difference, like, using a damage type that they're weak against. Okay, I think that was this one, right? Is that yes. One? Okay, yeah. cool. Oh. And maybe this is... Oh, yeah, terminals. Okay, great. Um, I can unlock the door. And is this, is unlocking the door just a, it's not a lock picking skill, it's just a In this case, no, yeah. It yeah. would, uh, take, if you needed to use a skill, it would show you the skill requirement before the actual Okay. Hmm. Line. This is where we're going to enter the passcode that Reed gave us? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then, of course, at the very top of the, the terminal, you have what the, it's a Spacer's Choice branded, so. <laughs> try the best, not try, try the, the best. That's so good. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Okay, so we're good. We're in. Um, let's get in there. We may want to follow that objective marker first before we get too deep oh, in there. Okay. Oh, okay. That so is that a right in here? or uh, is No, I think it's back up back. those okay. stairs. Thank you for the warning. I was getting pretty gung-ho there. <laughs> Processing data. <laughs> Security. Oh, man, that's a... Oh, look at that. Nice. That's very satisfying. And so we were when we were looking, uh, you know, when we previously leveled up and we were looking around at the perks, you know, saw things to extend, you know, the the, the 
being able to slow down time or increase armor. And do you guys have any favorite armor perks? Or, uh, sorry, perks just for your character to level up? Oh, uh, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of the, of the tactical time dilation system, so okay. I try and pick a lot of the perks that, that affect that. Um, there's also ones that like, just generally improve your movement speed, both okay. uh, running and just walking in general. Okay. So, which, since like all these areas like, I've played multiple times, yeah, I was like, increase the speed so I can, I can run through them and do my speed runs through the areas. Cover a lot of ground. So, so this is basically what this quest has been building towards. It seems like we are confronted with the opportunity to like actually redirect the power from either the botan botanical lab or um, from Edgewater here, basically. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so the thing, the thing we'll see here is that we're trying to do that, but there's some malfunctions oh, here. Oh, okay. We've got to fix that first. Yeah, we don't want the moderate to severe structural damage. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's, let's back out. See what we can do. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Yeah, good optimism. That's what they all say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we can dive back into where I was kind of gearing towards before. Oh. Right, right. I got this. <laughs> I'm guessing it's so satisfying. Yeah, <laughs> it feels so good. The, the sound design of these weapons is just awesome. I'll keep. I'll stay on task here with the waypoint. <laughs> um, One of the things you'll find also as you're playing through the game when you come to those terminals. A lot of times you'll find sent entries for like logs or messages. Mm -hmm. Those are great ways. Like if you're if you're a lore junkie like me, that's a oh, great yeah. way to learn a lot of stuff about the world. So aim for that blue. Oh, is that another weak point? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. Oh, Pavardi seems after like Pavardi, yeah. just drawn her fire. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh, that looked good. <laughs> so satisfying. These things are hardy. Oh, there's a new one. Let's see if I can zero in on that. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh <he took> the <laughs> Bodyguard bot. Okay. Dang. And there was that Secret Service dive in front of yeah, his yeah. I love that uh, that sort of like dissolving animation. I was going to say, he's literally dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, that was doing plasma damage, so that will uh, consume enemies. Amazing. I'm going to keep mixing it up here with the corrosive shot. Uh-oh. Who's that? Someone's having a yeah. rough day. Hello. Got two more switches here. Oh, branching paths. Stay on target. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Oh. She knows her stuff. Be careful. Unexpected. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got more. Yeah. Up Ow. above. Oh, here we go. There you go. Man, these are beefy weapons. Making very short work of these guys. I'll have to, you know, when the game comes out, I'm going to have to remember to, to scour for these. Okay. There's a lot to find. All right, you're nearly there, Tim. Yeah. Is this... So should, I, should I continue this way? Yeah. Loop around? Okay, my bad. Maybe go the other way? There is no other way. There is no other way. Let's continue down here. A little bit of exploration. So, there we go. So this is the geothermal plant. So is it... We saw, like, some volcanic uh, activity. Is that sort of what we're looking at here as far as how they actually power the area? Oh, yeah. So basically okay. this is... a. Uh, the plant's been drive, like, driving energy from the volcanic activity. Oh, okay. Unexpected. <laughs> Switch to this bad boy here. Nice. Oh, oh hello! hello. <laughs> just skated right past that guy. Oh, we got a melee, too, just for a quick hit. Yes. Nice. And then to your right. Oh, God. All right. Oh, I see more blue things to do. Perfect. Oh, that, that actually really was efficient. The sound design is great. Yeah. No, melee, not, not terrible against him. <laughs> yeah. It worked. Gosh, all the different reload animations and uh, weapon animations are just 
awesome. Uh, okay. Up Looks above. Like you gotta All go right. Up. I'm going up. Is this it? Is this what I want? Here we go. Click. All right. It looks like it did something. Oh, cool. God, I just love all the colors. Like, oh. any given, you know, look at the screen is just like, uh, just a total uh, kaleidoscope of colors. It's awesome. You but can tell you guys have put a lot of effort into this world building and yeah. all the set design. We actually have a shortcut if you go out back the way you came. Uh -huh. Oh, this if way? You, oh, nope. Back out the... Uh, In here? Yep. Okay. So Love if you go shortcut. to that door, it was actually sealed from the other side when you saw it. Oh, but now you can one. get Oh, now I can unbar it. Oh, I yeah. love that. Oh, delicious. Yeah. Okay. Convenient. There we go. Okay, now we can actually interact with redirecting power, mm -hmm. which is a big decision. I like, know. It, it seems is. like maybe like the biggest decision early on in the Outer Worlds. See, so yeah, definitely I mean, one of the things we're trying to do is... Like Once we do this, there's we're obsidian. We try and make like morally gray, complex yeah. quests, and this is like kind of your first taste of that in the outer worlds. Where is there an option where you just hey, take it and don't help anybody? Look, I know you want your power. Well, you could definitely. Uh, I just you always have a lot of options after you get the you regulator, and your priority's you got her her opinion on the matter. Oh man, well let's let's hear her out. You know, it's this is a big decision. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would oh, be cool. Oh wow. I'm sorry. I would have that thought that would have. Uh, she would have been maybe Edward on the other side. Hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. Delicious. But Saltuna. the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Man, that's her home too. That's fair. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. That's you know, so. Here's the thing. There's the other side of it. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's Poetic. plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick, gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She mm. wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind There's of hatred? That moral gray we're talking about. Um. Wow. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I just legitimately don't I know. Felt like I, I felt like I was so convinced going into this, <laughs> and now that I've heard from her... Um, well, again, at this point... <laughs> yeah. You, so you, you've gone through the, uh, the geothermal plant. You're at the point where you can make the choice. But you can always go back and talk to Reed and Adelaide more. Get to know and them more. There are other options available for resolving this beyond what you've seen oh, really? so far. Yes. Really? Interesting. That's super exciting. Um, really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words. Well. In that you order. deserve <laughs> it. You got it, Pavardi. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I think, just as you were saying, I need to do some more soul-searching and digging around in the world to figure out what my decision is going to be. But uh, for now, I think we'll, we'll leave it to everyone else to sort of look forward to making that decision. Absolutely. Uh, so that's The Outer Worlds. It's going to be out on PlayStation 4 uh, October 25th of this year. Um, Brian, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us. This has been great. I'm so excited. So, And thanks to everyone for watching another episode of PlayStation Underground.